In this video, I will show you how we can easily generate text files in our systems. So we are looking at my service studio where I have a reactive web application with one entity called customer having these attributes in here. Uh, I have drag and drop this entity to main flow editor for building the usual listing and detail screen for customer. So here I have the data coming in. What I want to do next is uh, create the feature of exporting this data, perhaps customer names into a text file. Let's see. So first of all, let me add a button somewhere here. We'll call it TXT. And then when somebody clicks on this button, we want to provide a logic where we will run a server action. Let this be a new one. And within this action, we will provide the logic. Always gives give your server actions or any element in our systems relevant names in case for reusability and findability. So uh, thereafter we'll get the list of customers from database and for each of these customers we'll run a loop where we can say run all the customer list and then using the assignment operator we will do some assignment. Now for assignment what we'll do is build a very long string of all the customer names maybe comma separated so for that what we can do is create a local variable called customer names and then uh, here we will up build up this string so customer name will be equal to uh, the customer name plus comma press put a separator and then the name of the customer which is this field and we will complete the loop okay so far this was uh, the usual stuff now for generating the text file what we need to do is convert the string which has all the name of customers now because of this loop into a binary data for that we will use mass dependency and in our systems there is already an extension in build called binary data uh, that has these functions available, these methods that you can use. The one that converts a text into binary is this one. Okay? Basically, it will get the text, there's encoding, and finally it will give us the output of a binary data. We'll add a reference to this, and then use it from here. Okay, so that's another way of using it, using the ASS development. And then for this text binary data, you can see that here it has already taken the customer names variable and it will give us the output of a file to catch the variable uh, the output let's add output variable here also it'll just be a file and then what we'll do is use an assignment operator for doing the assignment so file this output variable will have the output of this text to binary which is here then we'll go back to our uh, screen action now we are getting a file output from here what we need to do is use a download widget here content will be the file that we are getting from the function above and the name could be anything maybe a sample.txt and that's it let's publish the application so with this logic even though right now I'm ex I'm exporting data from my entity but you can think that any data that you have maybe on form maybe a reset data invoice anything that you can build as long as it's a string you should be able to uh, generate a text file for it and have the users download so I'm going in to launch the application now so my listing screen with all the customer information and if I click on text I get my sample.txt and what it has is all the customer names comma separated thanks for watching